sodium polyacrylate gel. I have in this uh, beaker, what do we got, about a 500, 400 milliliter, 500 milliliter beaker. Uh, in there, I have a magnesium rod, and I uh, have fashioned on top uh, a plate for hooking up an alligator clip, and a uh, carbon graphite rod. I'm going to be working with uh, what's called expanded uh, graphite, used to make graphene, and uh, I'm going to be working with those uh, type of uh, electrodes, but here I have just a rectangular sheet of graphite. So they're in the sodium polyacrylate gel, uh, 10 grams of the gel, and I added about 200 milliliters of water, and in there is one gram of alum, and that is the gel electrolyte. And uh, for the uh, one cell alone, the uh, magnesium graphite, I was getting out about uh, initially an open voltage, a hefty 2.8 volts, and the milliamps, I was uh, drawing uh, initially short circuit about 25 milliamps. I have it hooked up in series with the AA battery, so I have them both together. I'm interested in the internal resistance of these gel electrolytes. I make them from chitosan, carboxymethyl uh, starch, gelatin, other materials and I'm cross-linking them for mechanical stability. So I'm using this as a standard. But I have it hooked up with the double A, and uh, they're in series, and I'm running this uh, LED solar light. I removed the guts from the uh, solar lamp, and uh, leaving behind the uh, LED. I got this at Walmart for a dollar. I use these for this purpose. So I'll let that run and I'll be measuring the internal resistance and performance of this and uh, drawing enough current, adequate voltage of course, enough current to uh, run this. Usually it's about 2 volt uh, solar. Alright, I'll keep you posted on what I'm doing with these electrolyte gels, internal resistance. And as the water evaporates I want to see if uh, the current drops. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.